It has been so hot. Look at some of these around the Tampa Bay area. We're in the 90s across most of the air. If you've been outside, you have definitely felt it. The temperatures have been especially tough the past few days, too. Lots of people suffering from these heat related issues. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser takes us now to Clearwater, where for some people and for those rescuing them, it's been less than a day at the beach. I couldn't stay just directly in the sun all day. Tita Burgess had planned to spend a little more time in the sand today, but just had to take a break when she started feeling overwhelmed by the heat. I mean, I just not sweaty and hot and it's, you know, get tingly feeling sometimes, you know, it's past time. You need to get wet and cool yourself off, drink some water. With air temperatures soaring into the mid 90s and feels like temperatures of just over 100, visitors and locals say it's been brutal. They've seen for themselves time and again. Lifeguards giving first aid and so on. Petros Alevras and his friends among lots of people out here trying to rent shade, make shade, or find shade anywhere they can, shaking their heads at visitors clearly underestimating the risks. They don't understand that. They need to get a little smarter. I just came back from Miami. It just feels different down there. There's more breeze there, but here it's just like hot. Things have also as a result heated up for emergency responders like Clearwater lifeguards. Yesterday afternoon, all of their personnel, more than a dozen lifeguards and supervisors were all busy with emergency medical calls, at least half of them directly tied to the heat. The beach has given us, you know, a run for our money. Lifeguard supervisor Patrick Bradford says people need to listen to their bodies and know the warning signs. You start not to feel well, you start to have headaches, you start to feel nauseous, things like that. Those are classic signs of a heat related illness. You need to um, respect those, you know, and uh, take the appropriate precautions after that. To cool down, find shade or air conditioning. Drink plenty of liquids, preferably not alcohol or caffeine. A lot of water. And even if you're feeling better, don't Where tempt fate. Give it at least 24 hours before heading back into the sun. Spend some time in the shade somewhere, kick your feet up, relax, and you know, give it another attempt the next day or so. We're having to start all this really early. Emergency workers say that young people and the elderly are the most at risk for heat exhaustion or even stroke. So people in those age groups, they need to pay special attention and take those precautions. And there's a special warning too for the elderly. Fire rescue workers say that they have a harder time regulating their body temperature. So it's important not to overdo it. And again, make sure you are staying hydrated. And it wasn't just at the beaches either. The Sunset Music Festival also kept emergency crews busy. Between Saturday and Sunday, Tampa Fire Rescue had about 149 calls. 41 people were taken to the hospital. Most of those were heat related issues.